In this quick video, I'll show you how to graph a system of linear inequalities. The question reads, graph the solution set of the system shown on your screen. My first step is to solve for y in both of these, and I can do that by replacing the inequality symbol with an equal symbol. Starting with the first inequality, we have x minus 3y is less than 6. That will be written as x minus 3y is equal to 6. I'll solve for y, and I can do that by taking this x over. 6 minus x is equal to negative 3y. I divide both sides by negative 3. This gives me y is equal to 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2 plus 1 over 3x. To solve for y in the next inequality, we write down 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. Bringing that 2x over, I end up with negative 6 minus 2x. Dividing both sides by positive 3, we have y is equal to negative 2 minus 2 over 3x. I'll graph this in red, and I'll graph this in orange. Starting with this, we have a y-intercept of negative 2 and a slope of 1 over 3, which means that we go up 1 over 3 to the right. For this one, we have negative 2 as the y-intercept, and we go down 2 and over 3 to the right. Let's connect these points with straight lines. Now that I've graphed these two lines as if they were not inequalities, keep in mind that for the second inequality, this part, it was greater or equal to negative 6. This means we keep it as a solid line. In other words, this orange one remains solid. This one, on the other hand, is less than 6, and it's not equal to 6. Therefore, the red line should be dashed. Next, we have to determine which region, this one, this one, this one, or this one, tells us where the system's solution set exists. And we can do that by picking a point within each region to test to see if it fits the inequality. For example, if I choose the point 0 and 0, and if I substitute 0 and 0 into here, I'll end up with 0 minus 0, and that's definitely less than 6. If I place 0 and 0 into here, I'll end up with 0 is greater or equal to negative 6, and that's also true. Therefore, just by this test, I know that my solution set will lie in this region. And no other point will work other than those that are found in this highlighted region. Now, of course, you could have done this differently. You could have done this by, once again, solving for y, but leaving the inequality as opposed to changing it to equals. Let me show you what I mean. Starting off with this one, we have x minus 3y, and the inequality was less than 6. Solving for y, I take this x over, 6 minus x. And at this point, if you divide by a negative number, the inequality flips. So instead of being less than, it becomes greater than. Where we have y is greater than 6 divided by negative 3, which is negative 2. And here we have plus 1 over 3x. Notice that this mathematical statement is telling us that y needs to be greater than the line negative 2 plus 1 over 3x, the one in red. It has to be greater, anything that's greater. So all of this region. And doing the same thing for this one, we have 2x plus 3y, and that's greater or equal to negative 6. If I solve for y, 3y is greater or equal to negative 6 minus 2x. Dividing both sides by 3, I get negative 2 minus 2 over 3x. This is telling me that for my orange line, y is greater than the line itself. So all of this region. Now the region that both have in common is what was highlighted when we did the test point. And there you have it. That is how to graph a system of linear inequalities.